Hey mama, if you have tried every sippy cup out there, your little one not only asks but demands for the bubba, and you are this close to giving up, you clicked on the right video today. My name is Stephanie Hajal and I was just in your shoes like two weeks ago. I have a strong-willed 23-month-old daughter, but I'm happy to say that we have finally ditched the bubba. I'm in no way a doctor, but I am a real mom who has found a real solution to help my toddler daughter wean off of the bottle. I'm going to share all the tips that have worked amazing for my family, but also share some other baby bottle weaning tips that I have found from other moms in the internet because every child is so different and one approach might work super well for one child and not the other. And make sure you stay until the very end of this video because I will give you my number one baby bottle weaning tip to make for the smoothest transition. My first tip for you is to switch out your liquids. So what I mean by that is to take the milk from the baby bottle, put it into a sippy cup and take the water that you might have put in a sippy cup before and put that in the bottle. Just switching these liquids was such a game changer for us and it totally taught me something too that I hope will help you as well. It taught me that Gianna wasn't looking to drink the milk from her bottle anymore because she was hungry but because she wanted it more as a source of comfort. You know babies that's all they know they either started off with formula from a bottle or breastfeeding so drinking from a a nipple is a huge source of comfort for them. I will say the first couple times we did this, Gianna was not a fan. She would throw her bottle and get very frustrated, but eventually she did accept just the water in her baby bottle, would drink it, would kind of give me like a nasty side eye. But ultimately, it would kind of like curb that craving for the comfort that she was looking for. Tip number two is to replace a regular bottle feeding with a small snack. So for example, when my daughter would first wake up in the morning, she would ask for her bubba because that's what she was used to. But instead, I would offer her one of these little Gerber arrowroot biscuit cookies. If your toddler is used to having a bottle right when they wake up, up, replacing your toddler's morning bottle with maybe a small snack like one of these Gerber cookies is yummy and kind of like helps with that oral fixation because that morning bottle has kind of just become a habit at this point. Like I get it, I'm a nail biter. If we ever by chance happen to meet in person, don't look at my nails, they are atrocious. <laughs> my nail beds are history. But I understand that need, like when you're bored, to have something in your mouth. And some toddlers might have a pacifier, but I find that these little Gerber cookies right here, such a simple and relatively healthy fix to help wean your toddler off of the bottle. Going hand in hand, tip number three is to find other dairy alternatives for snack time. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that toddlers between 12 and 24 months take and two to three cups of milk, which is about 16 to 24 ounces. My daughter was definitely drinking a lot more than that. With that being the case, when we decided to wean off of the baby bottle, I knew she liked milk, so I wanted to find like other dairy alternatives that she could have and enjoy. So snacks like yogurt, whether it's like a yogurt cup or maybe a shelf stable yogurt pouch, that could be a really great way for your toddler to get their dairy fix. Or you could do cheese with either sprinkle cheese or string cheese or the little baby bell wheels are fun for toddlers. You could also make a really easy strawberry and banana smoothie with ice and milk of your choice. If your toddler just really enjoys milk, try giving one of these dairy snack options a try and let me know how it goes. Another tried and true weaning method is to use this Nuke Active Transition Cup. A lot of parents swear by this one and and it kind of worked for us too. So before you waste all your money on a ton of sippy cups like I did, maybe give this one a try first because it is a soft spout training cup. So very similar to your traditional baby bottle with the nipple because honestly, even some of those like hard spout sippy cups, it's hard for me to even drink out of them. So something like the Nuke Active Cup that is a soft spout training cup could be a great transitional bottle to help get your 
your little one comfortable drinking their milk from a straw cup or open cup as well. By the way, if you're enjoying these tips today, make sure you subscribe for more helpful motherhood content as well as give this video a like so that the information can be found by other first time parents just like you. Another tip that totally saved us during this weaning process was to acknowledge that yeah, my toddler was sad that she couldn't have her bottle anymore and to redirect her attention to something else. And those first couple days, guys, they were super rough. Gianna would just keep saying bubba, 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 until I almost couldn't take it anymore. And when she wouldn't stop asking for it, I would just acknowledge her feelings and say something like, Gianna, I know you are very upset that you can't have your bottle. And then I would offer her one of those snacks I previously mentioned, or find a toy she really likes to play with, or suggest doing an activity she really enjoys, so like coloring or playing with her bubbles. And once I found the right thing, all of a sudden, it seemed like she forgot that she wanted her bottle, and I was able to redirect her and we could do something new instead. Tip six is to just get those bottles out of sight, out of mine. We have this little cart in our kitchen that I keep a lot of Gianna's food supplies on, like her plates and cups and bottles, and it's just her height, so she was able to like see them and reach for them and tell me that that's what she wants. So all I did here was I moved the bottles from the cart and stuck them in a cover that was higher up so that she couldn't see them anymore. We've gotten to the point where Gianna knows she only gets her bottles right before nap time or bedtime, and so when the bottles bottles are tucked away in a different cabinet, neither of us are tempted to give in. My last tip here guys, and what I think is crucial to making this a successful weaning process for you, is that you just have to be consistent. This was even hard for me because when she kept asking for her bubba, 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 and I knew I couldn't give it to her, that made me very emotional because I feel like I was just taking the baby right out of her. But research shows that children, especially Especially young children like toddlers, they thrive off of routine and predictability. Consistency is key to creating those good habits for your toddler. If you're setting those clear boundaries as a family, then your toddler knows what to expect and that can help create the smoothest transition for you. The weaning process will probably be a very rocky start and when I looked to my own mom for advice, she assured me that Gianna wouldn't be drinking bottles by the time she was in college or at least bottles of milk. So use that support team, get everyone on the same page, and consistency will help you the most in this battle. Since table food should be the main source of nutrition for your toddler at this point, make sure you click on this playlist next for over 50 toddler meal ideas, as well as my best toddler mealtime hacks that every parent should know. Thank you so much for watching this video today. You got this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.